Hello, I'm Sarah Dennis, and this is me without any makeup. <laughs> I have decided to become an artist for Mascara Beauty, and that is the big news that I have been longing to share with you guys. At around 38, I started noticing that the texture of my skin and um, the different contrasts in my skin were changing big time, along with cystic acne, really oily skin. I, it left me running to try to find the perfect product for my face. Um, I was using powder and I noticed it was setting into my little, you know, my baby wrinkles. <laughs> And I didn't really like it. I didn't like that it showed like a dullness to my skin. Um, and so that sent me searching. I was searching for a product that was gonna work for my skin, um, work for the problems that I was experiencing and just be a good quality product with a sustainable price point. <laughs> and that led me to mascara. So we, in today's world, we are so hyper-focused on our flaws. And um, it really takes away from us trying to find out what is exceptional in each of us. And we do. Each one of us has exceptional parts and an exceptional being. And mascara's whole um, line of thinking is to look for those exceptional things in your skin and then try to highlight it. And then for the things that are taking away for the exceptional, let's just try to neutralize it. So mascara is really innovative in how they've done that. So let's take a look at what we currently do for our makeup routine, for some of us. Um, I love makeup. I love makeup. I enjoy putting makeup on my skin. So um, this might be something, these kinds of things that I'm gonna show you would be something that I would put on my skin if I was gonna go out for a date night or some wet, a wedding or something that was you know, a big occasion. I would put on a primer. So here's my skin. I'm gonna put on first a layer of primer and then to even out my skin tone all over i'm going to put one foundation color to blanket my entire skin and then so that i can bring back the shadows in my face i'm going to then put a contour right and then um to hot to bring some color to my face i'm going to then put a layer of blush and then to bring some warmth back to my face I'm going to put another layer of bronzer and then I'm going to want to take the shine out of my face um, and I would put on a powder. At that point, I'm finished with just my face. We aren't even talking about eyes and I'm going to put on a setting spray so that I don't have to worry about reapplying or oil coming back or any of those things. So by the time you are done, look how many layers you have all over your skin. I mean, let's count. It's one, two, three, four, five, six layers. Six layers of product on your skin. And what you've done is put it all over except for the blush, right? We're just gonna put it probably on our cheeks, but it's all over. Um, we're putting on, on a blank canvas and then just layering patches onto our skin. That's not what it's like for mascara. And can you imagine, you know, you're going on a trip, let's say you're going on a, a fancy anniversary trip with your husband. Can you imagine all the products that you would have to take to go on that trip so that you can have the best makeup um, application while you're there? Well, with mascara, look, all of those things can fit in here, including your eyes. There's my eyeshadows. There's my everything else. It is so nice. Can you imagine? This is all I would bring. This is all I would bring if I was packing for a trip. It's incredible. No bottles leaking, nothing. Okay, so how does it work? So mascara does a three, that's my dog. <laughs> mascara looks at your face as a 3D canvas, okay? It's not gonna blanket it into a one dimensional shape. We wanna pop out, right? We wanna be three dimensional just like the good Lord made us. And that's what um, mascara does. So I have been using this product for two years. I have loved it. It has been with me. It has been with me through thick and thin through great skin days. It's been th to, with me for incredibly bad skin days. I struggle with cyst cyst bleh, I struggle with cystic acne. Um, and 
after I finally got that in control, and that's for another blog post, <laughs> that's a long story, but if you want help with that, go and look at Dr. Jolene Brighton. She's amazing. The information is amazing. Get her book. Okay, so there's that. But um, when I finally got my temperamental skin under control, mascara was just there for me. It was doing its thing, and it had been there for me throughout all those problems, and I could use the makeup to... Um, help kind of neutralize the things that I was experiencing as well. So for me, I have oily skin, very oily skin that has become more oily um, here as I'm turning 40, okay? <laughs> Coming close to 40, very close. Um, and I have really oily skin. So mascara is a cream product and that usually doesn't go together, but I'm telling you, it works. It works so amazingly. It's high pigmented, so you're only using a little bit of product and it goes a long way. But we do have to be strategic in how we apply that and we'll look at that today. So I've been using it for two years. It's been with me through thick and thin and I just have come to really appreciate and love the perspective of the product, the product itself. It's amazing. There are three things I wanna highlight for you today. I wanna highlight the quality and the price point. This is something that is an amazing product, gluten-free, vegan, um, animal cruelty, not in, you know, all that stuff is safe. Um, it's a quality product with a sustainable price point because one thing I hate is when you find something you really like, but it literally breaks the bank and it only lasts you a couple of months or maybe even, you know, just one month. And then you have to go spend that money again. It's like an investment. And um, it's not, that's not the case here with mascara. Um, the second thing, yes, it lasts forever. Your base, my dog, <laughs> your base coverage is going to last you anywhere from three, four months, I'd say, um, which is a really, really good thing, right? <laughs> and also it's compact. You can take it anywhere. It doesn't have to be drama with your makeup. It's there for you. It's easy to use. It's quick. Or it can be, you know, you can take your time and really do a dramatic face if you want to. It is um, totally up to you, but you can use this product however way you choose, whether it's gonna be something light and natural or whether it's gonna be something more um, dramatic and, um, you know, really pretty. <laughs> okay, so now that you have the deets with mascara product and what it's all about, um, I'm going to begin now to show you the exceptional parts of myself on my face here and then the things that I would like to neutralize, okay? And I'm gonna get a little close to the camera and put myself out there, but I just want you to look at my face and look where the light is naturally picking up. I naturally have light here and here um, along this cheek and definitely along here on my eye bone here. Um, I feel like my eyes are pretty noticeable and that might be something that I wanna highlight. Um, my brows are pretty thick and, 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 and nice, you know, so I'm going to kind of lay off in that area. And then my lips, I think I have a pretty good um, lip line. So those are the things that I want to keep and highlight. And then for the things that I want to neutralize, you notice I have a lot of redness around my nose and underneath. There's a little tiny blemish here around my nose here. Um, inner corner of my eyes right here. And then some pigmentation here and here. I also, which it kinda is hard to see, but I do have large pores around this area and those are some of the things that I just kinda wanna neutralize. So, on my face, there it is, social media out in the public. So we're gonna get started, we're gonna build our face up, um, taking into account those exceptional things and not wanting to take away from them. So the first thing I wanna apply is actually not a mascara product, but it's something I highly recommend if you have oily skin um, or if you have a lot of pigmentation on your lid, I highly recommend that you use an eye base. This one is a Tarte eye base. It's okay. I'd say if you don't have oily skin, this is a great product for you. Um, the color on it is super beautiful. I love it. Um, but I noticed with my oily eyelids that it doesn't really last the whole day for me. One product that has lasted the whole day, and I'd say the color was not as good um, as Tarte's, would be Urban Decay's 
primal i think i think it's called primal or something like that but urban decay has a uh eye primer now i'm going to put it all over my lid and you can see um the difference is just kind of neutralizing this color here and what i like to do too is because i have fine lines underneath my eyelids i'm going to put a little bit of that base underneath my eye to keep the eyeshadow because i'm going to do a little light shadow underneath the eye it's going to keep it from creasing or settling into those fine lines all right so we're going to put it on this side as well i cannot tell you how nervous i was to make this video <laughs> we got to fight the fear fight the fear okay again underneath underneath and i'm just going to put a little bit in that inner corner okay so there's my eye base you can already see it kind of brightens up that eye area now we get into the fun part now we get into the mascara product okay so here it is everyone if you are interested in this product what makes the whole the biggest difference is making sure you have the correct color match most people are going to get two colors one as a darker color um, that we're going to use to neutralize those points that we want to kind of neutralize and then the other one is just a highlight color that's just going to brighten those areas. So highlight and contour, they call that the hack system here at Mascara. So that's what um, you'd be looking for. If you would like to try that, this product, um, once we're all said and done here, um, please send me a message. You're gonna give me two pictures, one in front of natural light, kind of holding that phone a little bit away, a um, couple of steps back from a window, no makeup on, show me your beautiful face. And then one uh, picture with your makeup on just so I can see how you like to wear your makeup. And then I'm going to send you back uh, your picture all marked up, showing you exactly where to put each product, showing you and telling you which colors would be best for your skin. Because I'm telling you, this product is magic, but you have to have the right colors and I want to be sure you have the right colors and I'm going to help you through it okay <laughs> I'm here to help I am your artist so um if you're we'll, we can talk about that more later but for now here are my two colors I'm using mango as my neutralizer and I'm using wheat for my highlighter another beautiful thing are the mascara brushes these have been my favorite brushes by far. And I meant to have the stack of other brushes that I have collected throughout the years. These by far, far and away, the best brushes. And I'm telling you, they're not even that expensive. They're beautiful. I am not gentle with my brushes at all. In fact, I have a little microfiber cloth here and I just rub them and rub them and rub them to clean them. I have not had a single thing come out. They have not frayed or poofed out. I love their brushes. And they're all of them are double ended. So you get two brushes for the price of one, really. So what I'm going to do, this is called my 30 second hack brush. I'm going to use the smaller end of this brush to just dab in my mango here. And look, that's it. I'm just going to touch it in and that's it. And I'm going to go ahead and start right here where the redness in my nose is. I'm just going to make small little dabbing swirling motions in that area remember we're neutralizing this color i don't want to take the the warmth out of my face completely here i'm just dabbing it where that little blemish was and bada bing bada boom it is gone and this part i'm just going to dab a little mango right here you guys see my grays <sighs> my beautiful hair girl went into labor <laughs> the day before my appointment. <laughs> I love you, Ashley. I'm so happy for you. Um, but I, I, I don't like my grace. <laughs> um, it'll be taken care of Friday. All right. So here I have some like pigmentation and a little texture. So I'm just going to kind of swirl that around here. Also, you guys probably are having a hard time seeing right there, but there is some redness on the side of my cheek there that I'm going to neutralize out as well. Just little dabs, little dabs. You do not need a lot of this product. This, this is, that's the one thing that you really have to retrain yourself on 
you can't just slap it on yourself, okay? Because it's not gonna give you the kind of flawless finish that you are gonna be wanting. Um, it's the smallest amount goes the longest way, I promise you. Um, and so I had to learn to just take it little by little and you get faster at it for sure. Um, take it little by little and only apply it where you need it. So like I was saying with those post-it notes, all the layers on your skin, what we're going for is one to two layers of product on your skin only. That's it. Because where we're applying this neutralizer, we don't need to apply highlighter. Where we're applying contour, we don't need to apply this coverage neutralizer or highlighter because the way that mascara made the contour, it has coverage in there. So if you have something on your lower cheekbones here, it's gonna be covered by the contour. Again, just one layer. So all this little texture here, I use a little bit more on the chin, my chin area, chinny chin chin area, because I do have some scarring. that I've um, accumulated throughout the years and right here on the bottom. Okay. And I got a little sun over the weekend. Did you guys see? I got a little surprise party. It was so sweet. I'm just gonna apply. I don't wanna take the warmth completely out. So I'm just gonna, um, because I got some sun, no big deal. I'm just gonna apply a little bit there. Okay, so you can already see the difference, right? In the light that's coming down towards my eyes, you don't see the under eye as much anymore, right? It's completely, it's gone. <laughs> so I'm gonna move on, okay? I'm gonna now play up that highlight region a little bit more by using my wheat. Now, I'm gonna change my brush because I want just a little bit more. Some people won't, and I can definitely recommend which brushes that you would want for your skin type um, and how you wanna wear your makeup. This is, the B squared bronzer brush, love it. <laughs> um, I'm going to use this high, a little bit more dense uh, side of the brush, and this one I love to use for bronzer. So what I'm going to do, just so I'm so I'm careful and I don't just apply my highlighter everywhere, I'm just going to dab my finger in here, and I'm just going to swab it here, here, right up there halfway down my nose, just a little bit, here on the chin, Cupid's bow, and some fingerprints along my jawline. Just to kind of blend that area, to give it a finished look. Then I'm gonna take my B squared and I am just gonna do barely touching the skin circular motions blending the edges of where I put that mango highlighter. So both of, both of the colors are called highlighters um, because they're kind of like kind of like your base. Um, but the darker highlight, you'll have a darker and a lighter. And I'm telling you, if you go with the two highlighters, instead of just getting one all over your face, um, your product is gonna go twice as far because if you get too light of a color and you're trying to use it for coverage, you're gonna end up using so much more product instead of just using a darker color and just circle dab it on. You guys saw what I did, that's it. Okay. So there we go. We had the highlight highlight and then the mango highlight right around those problem areas and now we're ready to contour so contour got a little eyelid here contour is going to go underneath your cheeks um and i'm going to go into more tutorial every monday i'm going to have a tutorial makeup monday tutorial for you guys um that way for those of you who are not interested in this portion of my <laughs> um instagram uh, account then you can just skip mondays right okay but for those of you who are i'll be doing makeup on mondays 
So for contour, going back to my 30 second hat brush, I'm gonna come right underneath my cheekbone and I'm gonna pretty much stop at the edge of my eye, okay? I don't wanna take it any further. When I do a contour tutorial, I'll go more into that because there might be some times where you wanna do that if you have like fabulous cheekbones. Um, there are some good things that can happen when you do that. But for me, I'm gonna stop it right there, right at the edge of my eye. Um, and to kind of tell where that's gonna go, if you do that fish face, right here. So we're just creating a little bit of shadow. I don't, I have nothing on right here, right? I put the highlighter here along my jawbone. I put it up along here, um, but there's nothing here now. So this is gonna be my first layer on this side. Don't be scared of contour. Um, the wonderful thing about this makeup is if you get a little too much, you just get a little buffer and you just buff it away and that's it and you can retry. I mean, it's so forgivable. So I'm gonna take this wide end of my 30 second hack brush and I'm going to just, here's my contour. This is the color indigo and I'm just going, I'm not gonna be scared of my contour. I'm just dipping it in. Your contour is gonna last you six months or longer, okay? Um, so just so you know, it lasts. So I'm gonna go right underneath my cheekbone, right here in this line and I like to just do a dab and kind of kind of just push it around a little bit. I don't like to, uh, if you go back and forth, you're just gonna blend it out. So you just need to kind of dab, put it in that area, keep it in that area, just like that. Moving on to the other side. Dabbing it in. Already, you can see when I smile, right? Look at the shadow that's coming to my face. It pops out my cheekbones. Still one layer of product. Okay, and now I'm gonna kind of frame my face. So any place where you see shadow, that's kind of where you want your contour. You're just accentuating that shadow a little bit more. So I'm gonna dip it in my Contour again, and I'm going to come up to my top of my head where I don't have any product yet, right? Because I just put it in here. And I'm going to warm up the face just a bit, okay? Just like that. Sorry, I got an itch. And then if you want to, or actually at this point, I like to just use whatever is left and come along my jawline right along here to chisel out that jawline. You can add a little bit more if you want to, to your brush to really kind of chisel it out. I'm fine with today. Today's just a, you know, an at home day. So I'm not gonna really worry about having a really chiseled out jawline, but I'm gonna just put it there and then just kind of blend it down. Then I'm gonna take the very edge of my brush and I'm going to just dip it in just like that. And I'm gonna come along here on my the outer corners of my nose and just draw a little faint line. Now you don't have to contour your nose. I mean, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. We just want that careful line here. You can make it more dramatic if you want. Again today, just keeping it chill. And there we go just a little bit more chiseling on the nose. And there is my contour, done. At this point, I like to do bronzer. Um, and then I move to eyes, and then I end with blush. So um, for bronzer, I actually use one of the highlight colors, although they do have a bronzer called Bella Bronzer, I just haven't used it yet, because I just, I just love this Icon one, but I do wanna try the Bella Bronzer one. But this one right here, it's called Icon. I'm gonna use the big fluffy end of my B-square bronzer, bl bronzer blush. <laughs> I'm gonna dip it in just like this, all around, nice and happy little dips. <laughs> and I'm gonna come along my cheekbones and I'm just gonna kinda dab. Very light hand. I mean, just the slightest bit of effort. Do you see? Can you see the warmth on this face now on this side versus this side? I'm going to go ahead dip again and I'm going to come and do the same thing 
light hand and just take that bronzer in the place in the in the face <laughs> in the places where the sun would naturally kind of touch your skin just a little on top there okay there we go bronzer done all right, so that was it. So this is taking me a lot more time because I'm explaining it to you, right? But normally you could get this done 10 minutes, 10 minutes and you are out the door. I'm gonna go ahead and start moving to my eye. And today I, okay, <laughs> I know I'm trying to, I know I'm saying I love everything, but I really do. I love mascara. And if you don't love the product, you can, you have 30 days to return the product. Um, if you use, if you try something and the color match doesn't work, or the, you don't like the way an eyeshadow looks on you, or the blush isn't showing up, you can return the product and they will refund you. So you don't have to worry about, um, you know, being being stuck with a bunch of stuff you don't need. Okay, so eyeshadows. Eyeshadows are completely buildable. This compact, it has a little magnetic thing in here, and so you just can snap your eyeshadows in and out as you need them. If you're going on a trip, you could just pack what you need. You don't have to bring your whole, if you wanna get all the, eyeshadows for mascara you don't have to um you know carry that all with you and you also don't have to buy like a preset you know quad of eyeshadows where you and then you just like two colors and then you're stuck with two colors you don't use you can buy the colors that you like they last forever they're highly pigmented they're beautiful okay so th these are the colors i'm using today this is called basic this is called Leo, and this is one of my favorite colors. It looks orange on the computer when you look at it, and it looks orange when you get it in, but it is beautiful and warming on your eye. I don't care what skin tone you have. And this is Zion, a beautiful sunset color. This is called, hold on, I forget. Um, bright Eyes, that's right. It's called Bright Eyes, and this is a glitter. I will do an eyeshadow tutorial for women who are maybe getting, you know, close to their 40s, around 38. <laughs> and notice that shimmers kind of operate a little differently. I'll do a tutorial on that. This one is called Bright Eyes. This one is a, uh, a, a slight shimmer um, and it's called Sabrina. And then I'm just gonna use this powder here, this Salem color, this eyeshadow color as a little liner. Um, again, I'll do an eyeshadow tutorial talking about mature eyes. <laughs> and how we how we use these things okay so what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to take my eyeshadow everything brush guess what it's my favorite <laughs> I really do notice a difference I have a um, urban decay one that looks exactly like this but this isn't as flexible and this isn't as blendable um, this end on that brush this is head and shoulders way better and actually less expensive than the Urban Decay one. I think it is, I think it's less expensive because I think in order to get that brush, you have to buy a whole pile, but I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. Okay, so I'm gonna take my end of this brush here and I'm just gonna dip it in to my Leo. I'm gonna close my eyes. Um, no, I'm not gonna close my eyes, sorry. Um, I have hooded hooded eyes, okay? So I need to make sure that my, my color goes, um, makes it above my, um, what do you call that? Brow line here, that bone there. Cause I don't have deep set eyes where I can see the crease of my eyes. I have hooded eyes where the skin kind of hangs over. So what I do is I start on the inner bottom lower corner of my eye and I'm keeping my eyes open and I'm going to just concentrate the color right there. I'm gonna concentrate it, keeping it right above that crease line and then I'm going to use a windshield wiper kind of effect to bring the color not all the way here but pretty much to the end of my um iris yes <laughs> iris okay so sweep it sweep it just like that okay beautiful I'm gonna dip it in again, go to the other eye, outer corner, eyes open for hooded eyes. 
Swirl it there for just a bit to put that concentration of color and then spread it out. The This brush, Eyeshadow Everything, it really is super easy to work with. It's not, it's not stiff like other eyeshadow brushes I have used where it just, it just blends the color so beautifully. If you were going to try a product, like you're going to say you're not ready for a base or whatever, definitely try this brush and get it and get an eyeshadow and just try it out. See if I'm telling you the truth. Do it. Okay. There we go. All right. Now. I want to start adding depth to my eye. So I'm going to take a little bit darker color. I'm going to take the Zion color, dip it in, and I'm just going to keep it right here on the bottom corner of my eye and just kind of touch it to that Leo there. Bottom corner only. We're not windshield wiping it all the way across. Do you guys have a good weekend? <laughs> I hope you did. Okay, so I think we get the picture here. It's kind of hard for me to see from my phone. I'll have to be ready next time with a good mirror. Okay. All right, looks good. Now, I forgot, I'm gonna flip my brush, brush over I'm gonna use this end of it, and I'm going to dip, I'm gonna still add some more texture. I'm just not texture, I'm gonna still add some more depth. I'm gonna to go to my basic, and I'm gonna dip it into the basic, and I'm just gonna come up to this crease right here, and I'm gonna draw the smallest little line, see it? And I'm just gonna blend it slightly, but I'm pretty much just gonna keep it there. Flip it over just a little bit and blend it right there. Now I always my aunt. <laughs> let's talk clearly. Okay. Um, it usually takes me the longest time to do my eyes because I feel like it's just fun for me. So I kind of get stuck spending a lot of time on my eyes. Um, the face doesn't take any time at all. Um, <laughs> so if you're like me, this is the longest part of your makeup routine. Okay, I'm, I dipped my um, brush into that basic again, and now I'm gonna come just underneath my eye just a little bit and bring that color down. Do you guys see my flowers in the background? My friend made those for me. They are so beautiful and they smell amazing. And I just couldn't believe, I mean, she is so gifted. They're just beautiful. That arrangement, she did a whole arrangement. Anyway. <laughs> okay, next. I have my bright eyes, okay? This is my glitter. Um, you know what? I changed my mind. I want to dip. I want to dip again into my Leo, and I just want to bring that Leo color a little bit underneath my eye, just to pull it down a little bit. Slight little line there, and I'm going to blend it out. Just a soft focus. So one of my <sighs> kind of pet peeves is um, when somebody with kind of like, <laughs> okay, what I was trying to say is I don't like when, when people just really um, line their eyes and make it look super like sharp. I'm looking, I would like, you know, we want a soft, a soft outline to really brighten, to kind of blur the lines and, um, you know, kind of reflect that light a little bit more. Anyway, okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my shimmers. I'm going to dip my brush into my bright eyes right here, and I'm just gonna keep that shimmer right above the iris of my eye, right in that little spot here. 
you can make this super concentrated and have like a really good shine. Like one of my favorite things to do is actually to put a little bit of my wheat um, highlighter in this space here and then with my finger put on a glitter and it just pops really good and looks super pretty. That's gonna be kind of, you know, a little bit more of a dramatic eye, but not always. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna dip into my Sabrina. This is my favorite one to just kind of brighten the inner corners of my eye. Nice little shimmer that goes there. Do you guys hear my stomach? <laughs> Okay, just a little bit of a shimmer to a bing, right? And then I'm gonna take that same Sabrina color and come right up here. Now you can do this one of two ways. You can use this fat end of the brush and kind of kind of have a blended, softer arch, or you can use the thinner end of the brush and have a sharper line. Like that. Up to you. Like I said, no big deal today, so I'm going to go for a more blended look. And I'm going to blend this kind of line right here, just kind of bring it all together. Okay. Hope you can see. Okay. Almost done. Almost done with our eyes. So now I'm going to use that smaller end and I'm just going to dip the tip of this brush into my Salem. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna do a soft black kind of eyeliner here. Just powder line, the just the outer corner of my eye. Powder line here. This is just gonna add to the depth and again, just give a soft look. Very soft look as opposed to really sharp lines. Okay. You can barely see it, but you know, you can see it. You can see it. All right. So there it is. That's pretty much my eyes. Um, I'll take you through the eyeliner, but then I'm going to stop the video for my mascara because no one needs to watch that. And then we'll hit it with some blush and lipstick and we are donezo. So here we go. No sharp lines, remember? So what I want you to do is I want you to line, sorry that you're looking at my nose, the waterline of your eye. So if you flip your eyeball up, it's that little ledge you have. In your eye. Now I just do the upper because it's going to transfer down for a little light liner on your bottom waterline. Now some of you might find that really this really hard to do. You can hold your hand also or use your hand to hold your eyelid. I'm just going to do a faint line here and a faint line here just to give it a clean look. And then I have, I'm just using the Revlon Color Stay Black Liner. I, this one's been really good. Like I said, oily skin, oily eyelids. And I usually have to use both waterproof liner and um, mascara because it's, it's just gross, y'all. <laughs> okay. All right. So there's our stopping point. I'm going to put on some mascara and then we're going to be ready to finish up. All right, I'm back. Um, I use the false, the Maybelline Falsies mascara. It's just a drugstore mascara. Actually, it's it's pretty good. Um, but I, I'm trying to find like a good, more, how should I say, <laughs> um, a better product with better ingredients that actually stays and does a really good job. And that's the thing about mascara too. Like, they're pretty clean. They're a pretty clean product. Um, and um, 
I love that it actually works because that's kind of the problem. Some of the, some of those products that are wonderful ingredients don't have that power to work. Anyway, I just wanted to show you really quickly too. Um, I don't really have any fallout underneath my eyes. Um, but if you're doing your eyeshadow with the glitter, sometimes you may get some fallout. All you have to do is take your little brush and lightly swipe and lightly swipe and it'll take that away. It's a nice little trick that I like to use. All right, so we are done with our eyes. I'm not gonna do my brows today. Um, sometimes I like to fill them in with shadow, but not today. So um, now it's time for some blush. And I'm going to use this, one of my favorite blushes, it's called Sandstone. And a little dab will do you. Your blush is gonna last you probably a year or so, especially if you're not using the same color every day. I mean, I probably have five or six of their blushes and um, I haven't had to refill one in the two years that I've had it. <laughs> so, um, but I do, I like to vary my color. So today I'm gonna use sandstone. I'm gonna take the uh, smaller end of my B squared bronzer. I'm gonna dab it in, just little dab, dab, dabs. And I'm gonna smile and I'm gonna take that color right there on the apples of my cheeks. I like to dab, again, when you rub or go back and forth, you're just gonna blend the color out. So, um, it's just gonna to turn to warmth all over your skin and you don't want that. So I'm going right on top of that apple and right on top of that cheekbone. I use the other end to just kind of give a light little blend. I'm gonna go the other way. Right down the apple of my cheek. I love sandstone. It's, um, it's a good color, like a good all around color for most skin types, most skin tones. If you want something that's, oh, so this has kind of a matte finish to it. The blushes will come in different finishes. There's some that are glossy, some with a little shimmer. Um, there are some that are super natural. Um, but for my skin tone, those natural ones usually don't show up just because I'm a little, I'm a more medium skin tone. Okay, and that's it for the brush. Um, sometimes I like to go back in with my bronzer and just kind of, Add a little bit more in the cheek area to kind of add, especially since it's summer, it's a good color to kind of to have. And let's see, what do we got next? What we got next? Um, now we have our lips. So that same color that we use to contour, you can use to line your lips. I also like to use my bronzer to, to um, line my lips and both of them look Amazing. It's just kind of, I want a more natural look. I'll just go in and I would choose to use the, um, the bronzer as opposed to the contour. The contour actually looks really pr pretty too, even if you're trying to go natural. So I'm just going to kind of put that on the outer corners. Um, I'm not using a brush today because I wanted to show you like there's multiple ways that you can apply. Um, but sometimes, most of the time, I do use a small little cheap brush that I got, a little lip brush. Um, and then I'm going to use my lip and cheek here. That's sandstone again. And I'm going to go on top of my lips, you know. There we are. And then before I go any further, I'm going to use a setting powder. Now, like I said, I have oily skin and for this cream makeup to work properly on my skin, I need to do a couple more things. I need to use a good setting powder. And for me, this is this product NARS. It's called the Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder. I love it for oil control. It's really, really good. And I've tried a couple of them. Um, and I would normally use also a setting spray. Mascara has the top setting spray that I've ever tried, um, but they are getting their package redone. And so it's gonna be in, in July, sometime in July, it's coming out and I cannot wait because I've been out for a while. So I haven't been using my setting spray lately and I do notice that my oil kind of takes over just a little bit. Um, but if you have, normal to dry skin you don't you can skip this step you don't need it so um unless you just don't like a dewy finish so 
mascara products, you have a dewy, glowing finish. I forgot to tell you. <laughs> I forgot to tell you my name. My name for mascara. I'm going to keep it with my To Will and To Work account. Because I like that I just have my fitness and stuff in one page. I don't really want multiple pages. Um, but for mascara, I'll be known as the glow maker. <laughs> Helping you to glow from the inside out. <laughs> okay, so I am not setting my entire face. I am targeting those areas that tend to really work up Ugh, so much oil. <laughs> it's gotten so much better though. It really has. If seriously, go check out Jolene Brighton. Okay. So usually my chin, my T-zone in this area will get pretty yucky. This top in between my brows and then for whatever reason right there on my temples. Okay. So I just kind of dab that in. Now the reason I did that first is because now I'm going to go in with my illuminator. Now I don't like, let's say you wanted to get this and yeah, you, you have, you were going to buy, like, I don't, you wanted to buy like all the products, but eh, you don't really want to spend so much right now. Um, you want to take your time and build it. The illuminator is kind of one thing that I would buy last. I usually don't use too much of it because I already kind of have a shine here and on the arch of my brow, but it is kind of fun. Okay. So, I mean, there's that. <laughs> so you're going to locate right above your cheekbone this time, but not into the eyeball, just staying right above the cheek line. And then you can see, you can see this area already kind of lighting up. That's exactly where I'm putting my illuminator. And that's just gonna add that shine, right? That little glow to the edge of your brow. And if you want to, you can add a little bit more shimmer up top there, a little bit more shimmer up top here. Now here's where I usually use my illuminator. Sometimes I will just use my bronzer from my full lip and then I'll come in with my illuminator and I'll just put it right on top of the bronzer to give it a little bit more um, sheen. Okay. That's it. We are done. We are done with our mascara hack. And it's, look, it's a great, I did a natural look today. I didn't do anything dramatic. Um, just my, kind of my everyday thing. And I look warm. I looked glow. I look glowing and I'm ready for the day. For me, I have to wear my makeup during the day because if I don't, I don't know. I just don't function <laughs> as well. I don't know why. I don't like passing by and getting a glimpse of myself in the mirror and just looking frumpy. <laughs> I'll get a lot more done if I get up and get ready and get moving. So I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If you are interested in or have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Um, this is a game changer makeup. There, it's a new way of doing it. And, um, you know, it comes with a little bit of retraining, a little bit of learning. And this is the perfect time because most of us are still working from home and we got the time. <laughs> so if you would like to give this product a try, you can DM me, you can email me. Um, I'll need two pictures um, and I can just give you the count, um, colors that you need. There's no commitment to buy. It's all up to you. Um, but again, know that if you do and you get it, um, first contact me, first let me know, um, because it might be that our, our color is wrong or, um, there may be a different brush that would be better for application for you. There could be a lot of different things that we can, um, like I was saying, there, there may be things that we can change that to, to help make this makeup work for you. Um, but no commitments, um, no worries. Um, let me know if you're interested. Thanks for watching my shoot tutorial. And if you think it might help someone else, please share. I'd love it. Have a wonderful day from the Glowmaker.